Uh, exercise a no-fly zone this evening. I would not have intervened. We don't need to have the United Nations. All we have to say is that we think that slaughtering your own citizens is unacceptable and that we're intervening. We are not in a position to go around the world every time there's a local problem and intervene. I mean, if you looked at parts of West Africa which have had horrible uh, slaughters, if you look at, at Zimbabwe where Mugabe is one of the worst dictators in the, in the world, if you look at Kim Jong-il who has shortened, lowered the height of the average North Korean by malnutrition because his policies are so bad. I mean, how many places would a, a, an Obama, uh, if there was an Obama principle, which I don't think there is, I think this is just amateur opportunism, but if there was an Obama principle, how many countries would it get us involved in? If you took his yardstick and you went around the world and measured pain around the world caused by governments, how many places would he get involved? And we don't have to send troops. All we have to do is suppress his air force, which we could do in minutes. If they're serious about protecting civilians, you can't do that from the air. Gaddafi is going to use light infantry, he's going to use his secret police, he's going to be in the cities, he's going to be inside buildings. Uh, you're not going to stop that with air power. Uh, this is a fundamental mistake, and I think as a typical politician's over-reliance on air power. You know, I, there's almost a conspiracy of silence if it's an anti-American government. If you're the Iranians, if you are the Libyans, <clears throat> for that matter, if you're the Chinese, uh, you are able to suppress your people, and uh, the American government stays quiet. But, but why? if you're an American but ally, why, why I, Mr. Speaker? Why? Why would the Obama administration? Because I'm thinking in my mind, well, they they did get a little flack for speaking out too much and too soon in the Egypt situation. So is well, that is that why we're not seeing them speak out now, or is there some other reason no. why? I look. I think it would be great to have the Fox correspondent at the White House. I uh, asked the administration, why are they so much more aggressive about countries that favor the United States than they are about countries that, that uh, oppose mm -hmm. the United States? Uh, Gaddafi's been our enemy for years. This is an opportunity to replace that d dictatorship. And I think the United States ought to be firmly on the side of the Libyan people in replacing this administration. And if we had a choice, if President uh, Obama had not come out and said Gaddafi has to go, I would have preferred the Reagan-Eisenhower model of using the CIA, using our allies, having Moroccan, Egyptian, Jordanian, Iraqi forces helping uh, the people who are going to overthrow uh, Gaddafi. So that was a reference to before March 3rd. So about this is the president on March 3rd basically pits the prestige of the United States against a dictator in Libya. Since then, they have been floundering, and obviously my analysis is going to change as the facts on the ground change.